Today I'll talk about the preparation of plasma and serum in the laboratory. Hi everyone, I am Manuranjan Burman. These are very simple procedure, but some students used to get confused very easily. That's why I have picked up this topic. First, I'll talk about the preparation of serum. If you allow whole blood to clot and then centrifuge it, the upper liquid part is serum. Remember, to prepare serum, you must allow the whole blood to clot. For that, you need vacuitinous that does not contain any anticoagulant in it. You can use red top vacuitinous, yellow top vacuitinous, orange top vacuitinous to prepare serum. You need to collect the whole blood in any of the above mentioned vacuitinous and allow the blood to clot by leaving it undisturbed. It usually takes 20 minutes to 1 hour for clotting. After that, till the tube to check whether the clotting process has been completed or not. Then centrifuge the tube at around 1500 to 2000 rpm for 10 to 15 minutes. After centrifugation, the blood will settle at the bottom of the test tube and the supernatant means the upper liquid part which is known as serum. Serum can be used in various tests like serum urea, serum creatinine, serum cholesterol, serum bilirubin, all serological tests like Weidel, CRP, VDRL, ASO and many more. If you want to prepare plasma, then collect the whole blood in anticoagulated vacuitinous. The anticoagulated vacuitinous may vary depending upon the test required. If you want to prepare plasma for blood sugar estimation, then you have to take grade of vacuitinous. If you are going to prepare plasma for coagulation profile test like PT prothrombin time and APTT activated partial thromboplastin time, then you have to take a light blue top vacuitinous. After blood collection, you have to invert the tube to mix the blood and anticoagulant properly. Centrifuge the tube at around 1500 to 2000 rpm for 10 to 15 minutes. After centrifugation, the blood cells will settle at the bottom of the tube and the supernatant liquid part on top of the blood cells are known as plasma. Then you can use this plasma for various tests as required. Always remember, if you want to prepare plasma, then collect the blood in an anticoagulated tube and mix well then centrifuge. If you are going to prepare serum, then you have to collect blood in a vacuitinous without anticoagulant and allow the blood to clot and then centrifuge to get the serum. Always keep in mind that plasma contains fibrinogen but serum does not contain fibrinogen. During the clotting process, all the clotting factors have been used up. In simple way, we can say that serum is equal to plasma minus fibrinogen. This is all for today. Thank you for watching. Please like, share and comment. And those who are new to my channel, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you.